Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aaron Talegian, San Gabriel Valley Newspaper Group football writer, joined by Fred J. Robledo, the San Gabriel Valley Tribune Prep Sports Editor. Freddie, huge one going down week 10, fr uh, Friday night at Bishop Amont Kiefer Stadium. Notre Dame, 6-3, 2-1 in the Sarah League, coming to La Puente to take on the Lancers, 7-1-1, 2-1 in the Sarah League. Uh, Freddie, we have a three-way tie right now for first place right. in the Sarah League. Set this, set this one up as, as far as what it means for league title and playoff implications. Well, basically, you know, Alamany's the team. They're in the driver's seat, and they're playing Loyola on Friday. If Alamany wins, no matter who they finish in a tie with, they're going to win the league title because they've beaten both Bishop Amat and Notre Dame. So let, let's start with that one. Then the winner of Bishop Amat and Notre Dame would finish second outright, and those would be your two guaranteed spots. Um, the other teams in the Sarah are, are definitely live for those, those at-large bursts. Um, and I was reading about this and on some of the other websites this week, and the Sarah could get as many as four teams, but we're going to see how that all, all unfolds. Now, if Alamany loses to Loyola, and, and, and there's a chance that they can. Loyola's been in, a game with, in games with a lot of these teams already. If they lose to Loyola, then the winner of Notre Dame and Bishop Amat wins the league title, and that would be pretty huge for these teams who, I, I think if you asked them last week before their games, their shot at winning an, uh, a league title, an outright league title, I think they thought it was over. So it's a huge game, and for Bishop Amat Aram, I've already kind of been writing about this in the weekend. I think that they are in the playoffs no matter what happens, even if they lose to Notre Dame on Friday. If, when you look at the, the playoff scenarios, look, Orange Lutheran lost this past weekend. They were a bubble team. Tesoro lost. They were a bubble team. There's nobody really else in the division record-wise, head-to-head-wise, league strength of schedule that can compete with Bishop Amat or really even Crespi, who's at 8-2 and two and will probably finish fourth. I just really think at the end of the day, when the pairings are announced on Monday, you're going to see two Sarah League teams get at large bursts. So two? Two. I, 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 so they're going to get the first two, and they're going to get four teams total. I think they're going to get four teams yeah, total. Yeah, well, you already have the scouting guru. You know, Crespi season's over yeah. there, 8-2. He's already lobbying. Yeah, well, and, 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 you know, if, when you look at the rating system, it's, the Sarah's the, uh, the best league in the state. You look at the, the records. They beat these other teams in head-to-head -head records, Crespi. I mean, it just adds up. What hurts Crespi is the two teams in front of them, Notre Dame and Bishop Amat. Both they teams. lost to both of those teams. Yeah. So they would be the fourth team that gets in, and I really think it's going to happen. I like all these teams over Orange Lou and Tesoro, and believe me, those are really the only teams you're considering at this point, unless somehow those teams get automatic spots, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen now. So I really like their chances. Now, talking about this game on, on, on Friday, Aaron, Notre Dame has been a great team. They've been great. They lost to Alamany in overtime. They beat Crespi um, in overtime, I believe, and then they really handled Loyola. This is a team two years ago uh, at Kiefer Stadium. Amat absolutely crushed. Um, Notre Dame's come a long way in two years. Uh, there were some publications that actually had them pegged to win the league title. So I think you're set up for a great, great game at Kiefer. And you kind of talked about this too, how important it is. I mean, forget about the playoffs. Let's just assume that they're all in. That that positioning, having mm -hmm. getting a chance to get a home game in the first round, getting a chance to if maybe you're the play, second place, yeah, team. getting a chance to yeah. maybe maybe play us another second place team right. and avoiding some of those super right. super teams at the top. Um, because I'm not sure if these teams can can handle those teams just yet. Right. Yeah. And, and for Bishop Amat. You know, we know how much better they play at home. Um, you know, we've seen it all year. Uh, we see it historically uh, under Haggerty. Um, that's their big edge in this game, I feel. And if they were to get in as a second-place team, getting that home game uh, in the first round, that would go a long ways for Amat. Um, Fred, uh, I'm not going to kid you here. I like Notre Dame to win this game. Even though Amat's at home, I'm picking Notre Dame to win this game. They played Alamany tougher. Um, you know, I, I, obviously I haven't seen these teams play, but I'm just going off the scoring. Um, I think this is an up-and-coming team. Um, I'm taking Notre Dame yeah. to win this game. Yeah, I, I'm taking Bishop Amat. And like I said, I, I, I get where you're coming from, taking that right off the scoring, but I was at the Amat alamini game, and it was not a three-touchdown game the way it looked on paper. I mean, it was... You know, you call it a game of inches, and that's what it really was. I mean, there, you were an interception here away from it. You're a penalty call here. They went head-to-head. -head. Alamany never stopped their offense. And I look, I just think it's a great, great matchup. And, oh, yeah, of course. And um, I'm not picking it with any any degree of confidence, and I don't yeah. think you can either. No, no. But um, I think Almont wants that guaranteed spot. I think they, they want to finish second or first. Obviously, I mean, both teams do. Um, but, you know, they're always they're, they're great at Kiefer, and I think they're going to come ready. You know, there hasn't been a – it was something impressive about Bishop Amat is they've come to play really in every game this year. Even even the Alamini game they lost. I mean, they, they came out and they scored right away. 
they just, you know, going back and forth, they made a couple of, a couple big mistakes that were the difference in that game. I mean, I, I even told you there was one point in that game where LMA scored three touchdowns without their offense even touching the ball. That's what turnovers can do to you, big plays can do to you. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I wasn't as sold on, on Bishop Amat, uh before going into the Sarah League. I, I mean, I knew they were good, and I know that, you know, I think they're a lot. I think they're better than I thought they were. I look at what Charter Oak's doing now. I look back, and it, it tells me how impressive that Bishop Mamat was. Charter Oak, was La Mirada, right? In La Mirada, and and I, I this is the best Bishop Mamat team that I've seen since Haggerty's been there. Better than the the team that went two thousand nineteen. Better than the nine two two thousand nine team. Yeah, I think they are. Aram, I, I, I think, think the oh nine team had a different record than I think you're thinking of the two thousand ten team. No, it was the two yeah two thousand ten team. Yeah, that I think the oh nine team was better than the ten team. Um, I don't think so. I, yeah, I think the 2010 that went nine and two With started. McClanahan, a started TV, nine and over receiver. Yeah. I like that. That team, team won the Sarah. League. It was a co Sarah League team. Yeah, uh, champion. I think that's the best team. But uh, but I think this is the best team now. And uh, yeah. wow, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Okay. So Freddie has Alma. I have Notre Dame. Get out there and enjoy that game. That's at that's at Kiefer on Friday night. Implications all over the place in the Pac-5 and the Sarah League. You can't ask for anything more. The Lancers are obviously going to need that full fan base. Uh, to get them home in this game. Get out there and enjoy it.